Apollo 7 and launch control. We passed the six minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. We're on time at the present time for our planned liftoff of 32 minutes past the hour. Coming up shortly, that swing arm up at the spacecraft level will come back to its fully retracted position. This should occur at the five minute mark in the count. The swing arm now coming back as our countdown continues. Skip Chauvin informing the astronauts that the swing arm now coming back. Four minutes and counting, we are goal for Apollo 11. We'll be coming up in the automatic sequence about 10 or 15 seconds from this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned, and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Firing command coming in now. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. Two minutes, ten seconds, and counting. Oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. T minus one minute, 35 seconds. The third stage completely pressurized. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We passed T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong reported back when he received the good wishes. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Good luck and Godspeed. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T-minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. Six.
Two minutes, 41 seconds. Time to throw Apollo 40 miles up into the sky, and then an empty shell to fall back into the sea. The journey that had taken the lifetime of mankind was nearing its crucial moment. 
Columbia near at hand, it coasted around to the backside of the moon, and there, while out of direct communication with the Earth, it fired its engine to slow its descent to a touchdown on the near side of the moon. Collins in Columbia continued in orbit, awaiting their return. We look good here, fine. Uh, how about you, Tom? Go. Guidance, you happy? Go. Fido. Go. 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet, into the axe, 47 degrees. Roger. 47 degrees. It's still looking very good. Here go. Copy. Bravo one. Go. Altitude 1600. Eagle looking great. Roger 1202. We copy it. 35 degrees. 750. Coming down to 23. 540 feet down to 15. 150 feet down at 4. Altitude, velocity, light. Ten and a half down. Two twenty feet. Five and four, we're coming down nicely. Two hundred feet. Four and a half down. Five and a half down. Hundred feet. Three and a half down. Nine forward. Eight seventy-five feet. That's looking good. Down a half. Six forward. Sixty seconds. Lights on. Forward. Forward. Forty feet down. Two and a half. Picking up some dust. Great shadow. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. 